Hi, in this video we are going to talk about the implementation of the Bauman Ford algorithm. And as we have discussed in the theoretical section, with the help of Bauman Ford algorithm, we are able to calculate the shortest path between two vertices in a graph. So basically this is how GPS or routing algorithm works. So first we have to import the sys because we are going to initialize the mean distance to be equal to the system that maximum size. So we will have the node class with the object. It's going to have a constructor, so in it, and it's going to have a self and a name. We are going to assign names to every single node or vertex in the given graph. So the self.name is equal to the name. Then we are going to have a boolean visited to be equal to check whether we have visited a given vertex or node or not. Then we are going to have the predecessor. It is essential to track shortest path in the graph. It's going to be initialized to none. Then we have the adjacencies list. It's going to be an empty list at the beginning. And we are going to have a main distance. What is this main distance? First of all, we are going to have the max size. Size, okay. It's going to be the minimum distance to a given node from the starting vertex. We have to define a starting vertex and then we have to calculate the shortest path to every single node starting with that given vertex. Okay, so this main distance is the distance from the starting vertex. Then what about the class edge? We have the object, we have the constructor, so in it with the self, every edge will have a weight, have a start vertex and have a target vertex. Okay. We have to initialize the weight accordingly is equal to the weight, then the self.start vertex is equal to the start vertex, and the target vertex is equal to the target vertex. Okay, that's all about the node class and the edge class. Basically, we just have to implement the Bauman Ford algorithm with the object as well. And in the next video, we are going to implement this Bauman Ford algorithm. Thanks for watching.